for money. I now create a space for money. In Second Kings chapter 4, get that for me, prophetess, boys. Yes, Master Prophet. We begin to say, whatever you are in a dilemma, a financial strain, you need to sow a seed. I am there. Second Kings 4, what does it say? Now there cried a certain woman. There cried a certain woman. Okay? There cried a certain woman. She was in a dilemma, like some of you are crying tonight. I don't have the thing. I don't have, I don't, I don't even want to say it. There cried a certain woman. Go ahead. Of the wives of the son of the prophet unto Elisha. Saying, thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear for the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bound men. Okay, so she was in debt. Am I right? Yes, Master Prophet. Serious debt. What do you do in debt? You believe the prophet. Because when you obey the prophet, the prophet shortens the distance to your miracle. Read on. And Elijah said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? What do you have in your house? In other words, now the prophet is getting ready to create a space for money. You cannot get money if you don't take action. I'm getting ready to get now to our power point that I wanted to bring you to, to to this point of power. And then I'm going to come off of this line and we're going to move down onto the streaming set. How much time do we have on the DVD tonight with this teaching? How much more time do we have because we're going to have to close it up and um, someone will instant message me from one of the prophets downstairs. I'm up here in my prayer room. But we have something very interesting that is going on. Thank you, Prophetess Cynthia Clark. She says 55 minutes. It won't even take me that long to teach. But thank you very much. Read on. And she said... Thy handmaid had not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. You're going to have to part with what you have to get what you want. One of the R&B singers says, you got to give what you got to get what you want. You better think. Mm -hmm. Something about nature will demand for you to create a space. Every house that I've went into, Prophetess Boys, it got much larger than the house I had before. And when I first looked at it, I said, how are we going to fill up these rooms with these furniture? And when I got ready to move, I found out that I had more furniture than house. Isn't nature interesting? Yes, Master Prophet, it is. They always fill a void. Like we built the library up here in Prophet's Boys, it got filled up the first week. Yes, yes. The length of the house. Am I correct? You see that, that is correct. I got books now spilling out of the library. Last night I went and purchased 20 other books in a particular subject that I'm studying. Because I see God multiplying success in those that are connecting with us right now. And as you are moving towards doing the 11825, it is causing you to come into a stronger flow, a stronger determination, 
and you are coming into a brand new revenue stream. Oh, yes, it's a brand new revenue stream. So the prophet begins to tell her what? He tells her, then he said, go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, and even empty vessels, mm-hmm. borrow not a few. You know, you've got to create an empty space so nature can fill it. Some of you need to empty out with a 118.25. I didn't tell you to go to the bank and empty out your bank account. I just told you to share the energy of 118.25 that's connected with Psalms 118.25 that says, Send now what? Says now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, send now prosperity. Yes. So money will become... more accessible as you clear the channel and develop an entryway. Your seed is developing the entryway. Because, see, the seed is the only thing that will bring your future into existence. See, it is what you hate about your present that starts to reward your future. It's when you are intolerant of the present that you begin to step into your future. The seed is the only thing that is in your possession that has control and influence over your future. Your seed. Your seed is a literal photograph of your faith. Two one two three one six two one seven seven. Your seed is anything that will benefit the prophet. Your harvest is a thing that ends up benefiting you. If what you have is not enough to meet your need, it's a seed. What do I do with the seed? Give it to the prophet. Why well, am I giving it to the prophet? So that a harvest can be created out of it. So a benefit can come to you. See, that's just a cycle of miracles. But what is the prophet going to do with my seed? Consume it for the work of the Lord. Because the prophet wants you to know that the seed, it may leave your hands, but the seed never leaves your life. The prophet is in your future, so the seed is going into your future, preparing for you a harvest that you didn't even know that you had. So why am I giving, Master Prophet? You are giving because you have been given to create what you have been promised. When you sow the seed, you give the seed to create what you have been promised. There's a word hanging around your seed right now. And your next step of faith is going to do one of two things. It's either going to shorten the distance of your miracle and cause it to come into fulfillment, or it's going to keep you longing and leave you in a state of want. 212-316-2177. So money will become accessible to you as you clear the channel and develop the entryway, one that has always there but was previously blocked by unconscious or unresolved issues. Because money is everywhere. It's always been there. It's just been blocked. Giving is creating. 
clearing